Let's get to good old Aki Wacky. I got I got a couple of live streams to react to. So this one is Academics reacts to Metro Boomin speaking on um Drake and Kendrick Lamar. So let's see what good old Aki Wacky got to talk about. We got a couple of live streams to react to with academics, so let's get straight into it. Cool. We should let me pull this up real quick. So at the force 30 on the 30, we have uh Metro Boomin and good old Metro man. Metro acting up, doing a whole bunch of nonsense. He has spoken. Well, there's, there's a viral clip of him essentially you know. speaking. Check this out. This is him speaking at Force uh, Under 30 or 30 Under 30 um, a conference where he was asked about the beef between Drake and Kendrick and what it's done to the industry and listen to his response. You both feel like you're the best. It's like, okay, now we got to have a showdown. You know, we saw it with Jay-Z and Nas before. But I just feel like more today is... Uh it's more like staying culture. It's like it makes it kind of weird. Cause like back in the day, like Jay Z and Nas went at it, but like I was a fan of both of them, you know. And most people were. And it's like okay, it's okay. It's not like okay, I hate this side, I hate this side. It's like, you know, the internet just makes it a little too wild now. But I feel like you know it's good for the game. And as far as me being diplomatic, I mean, it's just entertainment at the end of the day. And uh, you know, I have love and respect for all my collaborators. And you know, I just want to see everybody do the best and continue to help push this forward. Cause we're all here to, you know. Uh, deposit in and, and uplift the genre and push it forward. You know, this is our era, so it's really our responsibility to keep pushing it forward for the next one and so forth. You know, you both feel like you're the best. It's like Yo, uh, I'm going to be honest with you, man. People like Metro piss me off. I hate fake niggas. I hate people who code switch, act like they're standing on business, but if they're asked, you know... What you mean when... Like a couple of years ago, how you cold switch when um, you had this moment right here, which we going to talk about, which you going to talk about, because it seemed like that you cold switch, too. So you must hate yourself. I don't think it'll be considered classic. I'm not considering that Drake has any unilateral classics that would be seen by the no. culture. No. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. Three. And I'm not counting. I think all these classics. <laughs> like, <I'm, laughs> like, mm -hmm, because over here. We got you on video saying that Kendrick has classics, Drake don't have classics, that Kendrick, that Drake can't fuck with Kendrick. So it seemed like you did a little bit of cold switching, right? So you must not like yourself. I think so. We could talk about it more. But the last point, I felt he really said to Drake and Big Sean, and he said with these lines, he says, gotta lay something down if you're making threats. Gotta say something now. Don't hold your breath. And with him saying that to me, he was saying, listen, if y'all got a problem with all these claims I'm making, say something right now. Is Drake scared of Kendrick? Let me get my direct question. Motherfucking yes. Is Big Sean scared? Motherfucking yes. So it seemed like you did a little cold switching, my, my guy. All right. So how are you going to talk about something that 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 you did yourself? You don't stand on business. You got damn self. But he going to speak on this later on. During the clip. Well, not this clip, but you'll see. When, when, you, when you're sending these smoke signals to black rappers, he's no different to me than Meek Mill. These guys send one message when they're talking to niggas and when they get asked by a white man or a white woman. So what's going on there? They don't have the same energy. They try to downplay. They try. No, no, no. Keep the same energy. OK. And I'm not saying you got to talk crazy, but the same energy is this. The same tweets that you sent out. Once you pick a side, stay there. It sounds absolutely you know. ridiculous when you say Stan culture is ruining hip hop because these days people are picking a side. Bro, you literally told me to pick a side. You know, and most people were. And it's like, OK, it's OK. It's not like, OK, I hate this side. I hate this side. It's like, you know, the Internet just makes it a little too wild now. But I feel like, you know, it's good for the game. And as far as me being diplomatic, I mean, it's just entertainment at the end of the day. And, uh, you know, I have love and respect. So essentially, this guy who is doing the epitome of um, um, picking a side or he told people to pick a side. He's now saying fans shouldn't pick a side. And that's what's the problem. Somebody said, well, what about code switching with Drake and an accent? That's not when I'm talking about code switching. I'm not talking about using different vernacular. That's not what I'm really getting at with, with um, a Metro Boomer. I'm getting that his message is changing. This is the guy like you can never respect the guy who talks super tough. And then when asking another in another by another person in another, um, um, you know, venue, he's playing victim. Like, don't play bully and victim. Right. And I think that's the problem with with the messaging that Metro is saying. It's OK to say, hey, listen, yo, we're doing music. How's he playing victim? He ain't playing victim. <laughs> how's, how's he playing victim?
it's competitive. We don't got to all get along. Um, I, I don't necessarily, I don't think it's violent at all. Hey, listen. That didn't make no sense. Pick a side. It is what it is. So again, I'm not, I'm not going to take anything from Metro any too. All he said was, you know, that the internet these days make it seem like you got to pick a side. Because back in the day, Jay-Z and Nas went at it, but they, everybody, you know, people didn't really pick a side. They just enjoyed the music. Nowadays, it seems like you got to pick a side. How is that being a victim? And I don't, I don't understand that terminology. He was just giving his opinion. But, but did he say, do you got to pick a side? Yeah, but I wasn't trying to be no like. I don't get it. Too serious. Um, I think Metro in this entire beef has played it like a coward. He's a guy who um, instigated other men to handle his beef because he was too weak to, to deal with it himself, right? You know, he had a problem with Drake. Leslie Drake piped, "Yo, bitch." You're upset. You took Drake off of trance. You had a problem, right? But instead of dealing with your issues like a man, you recruited Future, who basically told the whole world he would shoot anybody for you. Or and obviously it's a figurative at all. You know, if Metro don't trust you, right? Um, kind of like top five, you know. Kind of like top five. The weekend, all these other people, and obviously it was powered by XO, and then obviously Kendrick comes in. So again, I'm you know for, for me. If anybody should stand on everything he said, the person who's seemingly the most polarizing in this is Metro. He told everybody to pick a side. Now he's saying that people are fucked up for picking a side. So I don't get it. But again, you know, I've always thought that his character has always been in question. I've Damn. thought that this nigga has been super weird since he would, you know what I mean? I, I told his grieving ass nigga, I said, nigga, get back to grieving and leave the guy alone. I don't got time for that. And ever since Damn. then, I've only seen passive aggressive pot shots that everybody's had problems with. And, um, you know, to keep it real, I thought, you know, Drake and him went back and forth. I still think Metro shut your, shut your ass up and make some drums is, is what it is, but sucker shit. This is a sucker shit right here. You know what I mean? Like, this is exactly why Drake tells The Weeknd and other people who ain't rapping, just make the drums shut up, just sing falsetto, get out of here. Just, let, let's leave it to the people who are going to talk with some bass in their voice and maybe at least say some stuff that they plan to, to, to um, defend, okay? Damn. That is what it is, man, all right? Damn, Mac. You all right? <laughs> Well, that's academics' uh, response to Metro Broom Booming. You know, he he just did a recent interview, and uh, you know, I guess Act feel some type of way, because you know, he got to put on his uh, Act Man cap on, cape on. You know, save the day, save the day, Act. All right, so we moving on to. Oh yeah, we got to talk about this one. Right here. Let's see. All right. So, Act is going to talk about. Do I even want to play this? Eh, do I want to play the whole Nicki Minaj thing? Not really. Eh, it's kind of irrelevant, really. Yeah, Nicki Minaj. Yeah. Not really. No, I ain't. Oh, but. Okay. You know, now, now, I do want to play this part right here. All right, because he's going to respond. Yeah, yeah. I do want to play this part right here. 